Hello there everyone. This is everyone's favorite jack of all trades with the foul mouth, Comet Urban. And yes, we are looking at my custom built model of the United States Lines Transatlantic Passenger Ship as as United States. Probably wondering why are we looking at this model once again. In this video I will be telling you guys about all the materials that I used to build this ship as well as all the references. So before I go to the material that the vessel is made of, let's look at the books. Holy shit, look at all them books. This ain't even every book about the United States. This ain't every book about it. I've read almost every book about this fucking ship except for maybe maybe one and it was a private and it was a self-published book and it was called SS United States A View From Down Below by Robert C. Strum and it was about the engineering parts of the ship you know deep down in the hull like the turbines and shit I would love to read it if anybody knows how the hell I can get a fucking copy of that book please let me know anyway this book, Picture History of the SS United States by Bill Miller. This book came in handy, really, really, really handy. Even though the very first, uh, let's say, the first 52 pages of it isn't even about the United States. So really, half the book is not even about the United States. So it should have been called Picture History of American Passenger Ships, not picture history of the SS United States. But that's just me. But anyway, Bill Miller did a great job with it. It's a great book. I would suggest it for anyone that loves this ship. And of course, another one of Bill's books, SS United States, The Story of America's Greatest Ocean Liner. Beautiful book. Has a lot of great photos in it. So, a lot of great photographs. These two definitely helped with the detailing and stuff, like a lot of the, the, the stuff, the details. This one, this is a must. This one is a must. If you want to build a model of the United States, you want to fucking detail it, this is a must. It is written by the late John Maxtone Graham. It is called Red, White, and Blue Riband Forever. And this is a very, very, very great book. And just like Picture History of the United States, the first, I don't know, 70, the first 70, first 79 pages of it isn't a, it's, not really about the United States, but it's talking about her history. So this, it's about the United States' history, early history. You know, because of, you know, the Leviathan, and the Malolo, and the America. You know, without those ships, this wouldn't have existed. And of course, the rest is book. This big old thick chunk is about the big ship. And look at this picture. Amazing picture of her. I love this picture. I would love to have this picture as a poster. As a big ass poster. Put it in a frame, put it on the wall. Because this would be the picture I'd want. Actually, I would love to have this picture behind this model. Or even in front of it. And of course, written, like I said, it was written by the late John Max Stone Graham. Rest in peace, Mr. Rest in peace, Mr. Max Tom Graham. Oh, shit. Like I said, beautiful book. Here's another book if you love the United States. This is definitely a must. The Big Ship. It does not have that many pictures in there. No, not really. But the pictures they do put in here, though, they do give some clues. There is some clues, like your deck. There is some clues in these pictures, but this is a very good history, a very good, well-told story. 
is a great book. But I'll tell you right now, if you get it, do not get the first edition. Because this version, even though, yes, it is a great book. And if you can afford it, get it. But this is like a $175, $200 plus dollar book. I got this as a gift. But if you can get it, get the new version, which is much smaller. The new version is probably about this size. But get that one. This one, like I said, this is a lot of reading. And of course there are pictures in there too, which have helped. But this is a great story about William Francis Gibbs in the United States, Man in a Ship by Stephen Yuji Fusa. Another great book. Definitely look for this one. And these two. SS United States Be Queen in the Seas by Bill Miller. And SS United States from the Classic Liner series by Andrew Brighton. And these are literally just picture books. Literally just filled with pictures of the big ship. See? Literally just tons of photos. And from these books, I was able to compile enough information to do all this. Now, like I said, I'm going to go through every material I used in this sack. Now, for the main body of the ship, you know, the bottom, the hull, the decks, the deck houses, the funnels and shit, that's all cardboard. That's all legitimate fucking cardboard. Alright? And a lot of this details and shit, like paper, like actual thin strips of card, cardstock, toothpicks, straws, and just, see, there are these coffee stirring straws. These are chopsticks. Those are little wheels from a little Tech Deck skateboard. I had two sets of them, so one full set for the forward lights, another set for the aft lights. And like tons of cardboard. I shaped a lot of shit out of cardboard. And look, the toothpicks, uh, straws, different sizes of straws, toothpicks, cardboard, cardboard. Um, Paper, ton of paper, a lot of cardstock. I mean, and that like this mast, that is a chopstick that I covered in card and cardstock, and built everything up individually. And then once I built it all up, I just took bottle silver model paint, and I painted that son of a bitch, and I detailed it. Ta-da! Like this ribbon, that's a real, that's a real ribbon. See, that's real blue ribbon. The flag of paper. That broom I made from card stock and a toothpick. You know, this is cardboard. This is cardboard and toothpicks. Uh, the funnels. This is cardboard. Pieces of a mechanical pencil. Toothpicks. Uh, this is cardboard and toothpicks here. Toothpicks and fishing wire fishing line. Yeah, this is fishing line, guys. I used for the grab rails at the top of the funnel. That's fishing line. Uh, yeah, and there's even black house thread for the rigging. Look. Look at all that wire, all that rigging. That's all line. And the railing, that's white house thread. And that thick silver railing, that is actually a thick white thread that I took and I painted it because I'm cheap. So yeah, we look. Cardstock, toothpicks, toothpicks, cardboard, cardboard, cardstock. All these lifeboats were made from one Totino's pizza box. From one Totino's pizza box. I was able to make 24 boats. 22 of these and two of these. All the windows were done on Microsoft Paint, and I printed them out on paper, and I just glued them on. Uh, the, all like you know, like all these here. This is pieces of cardboard, you know, the doors, and all this stuff. It's the same as the front, you know, cardboard, toothpicks, chopsticks. Uh, I even cut up a couple of toilet paper rolls and used them for the cardstock, you know. And basically, it's just a bunch of trash. 
I took a bunch of garbage, you know, sh you know, just shit people was just tossing in the fucking garbage, and I took all that shit, cut it all up, put it together, and, you know, basically trash, stuff people would throw away, and I made a fucking SS United States out of it. I made a model of one of the greatest passenger ships ever built out of nothing but trash. That's what this is. This was just a bunch of trash. Someone was going to throw away. And I took it. I cut it all up. I glued it. I painted it. I detailed it. And this is what I've got right here. Seven and a half foot long from end to end. It's so long it actually hangs off the bed at, at the end. Let's see here. Yeah. So the end is just resting right there and you can see about a pretty good chunk of it hangs over the side. Oh yeah, the anchors. That's just toothpicks and card stock and shit too that's cut up and stuff. Same goes for the prowl anchor too. And like all this shit here, you know. All that shit, like I said. This whole boat not boat, but this whole liner is just made from trash. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments about anything, leave in the comment section down below and I will get back with you. And if you're new to the channel and you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you become part of the Commodore crew. And until next time, this is Commodore Urban saying how smooth seas and clear skies. Happy sailing with you. And God bless, and you take care now, you have a good day. Bye-bye. Uh,